for the trace, it's up. I'm going to go ahead and put <clears throat> my magnifying glasses on. So the trace is already standing up on both ends. And this is already tinned. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of solder on the tip. And go ahead and put the wire underneath and touch the trace. And then just bring the trace down onto the wire. And I'm just going to roll the tip. Make sure that it's on there. Now this is precision soldering, so if it doesn't take the first time, or if you notice like your trace is going to the side like this one is, it's all right. A little more solder on here. Okay, now that's how it's done. Now what I'm going to do is bring this around just to make sure that I don't mess up what I've already done. It might be a little hard to see what I'm doing. but Okay, so now I basically have this back around. I'm going to go ahead and use my dental pick again. I'm going to pull this trace away from these soldering points. And I'm going to bring it up underneath. And make sure that those two are good now I'm going to take the soldering iron A little more. Sorry. Now, you definitely want to just take your time with this. You don't want to bridge anything that you're not trying to. Um,
All right, so <clears throat> now that that's done, um, I'm going to go ahead and get it cleaned up and give you guys a better view of what's going on with it and um, get it hooked up. And I'm going to tape these down. And then when we come back, we'll go ahead and power it on and make sure that everything's working and everything is exactly how it should be. Um, so it should be interesting to see if this worked. Uh, so hang tight, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so... Um, I decided to use hot glue instead of um, tape. So I'm just going to hot glue over the connections that I just made. It's important to check your connections first. Be sure that nothing is bridged or touching any of the other soldering points on the board. Because once you put this glue down, you don't really want to be digging through and trying to get it to come back up. I'm pretty confident that this repair was successful, so I'm just going ahead and doing it. Nobody's going to see this, so if it's not perfectly pretty, don't worry about it. The main thing here is you're just trying to protect your soldering joints so that way they stay connected. Okay, that looks good. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and hook everything up. And once I get everything connected, we'll go ahead and power it on and... Uh, We'll do a 5.1 surround test to make sure all the speakers are working. All right, same all right. so um, we're back through uh, camera magic. Everything's all set up, and you didn't have to wait for that. Uh, so as you can see, I have everything hooked up. I have the uh, jacks plugged into the back, so that way they're going for subs rear and front. Um, I'm going to go ahead now, if you want to come and show the audience that we have uh, we have just a speaker test. I'm going to go ahead and test the 5.1 surround. And we're going to show you each speaker so you can hear it, um, so you know this was a good repair. So I'm just going to lower this just a touch. Um, and then I don't want this to be too loud. Anyway, Spotify, I think, just does stereo, but as we know, um, it isn't surround sound, and it's another great repair that was really fun for me to do, and I hope that it was fun for you guys to watch. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, go ahead, post them in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer them, and uh, keep your eyes out for more of my videos. This was the uh, repair of burnt trace and a blown fuse on a Logitech X530, and uh, Thank you for watching.